In this video, I'll show you how to allow customers to request the price on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so on our demo store, currently we've got this add to cart button here. So if the customer's happy with the price, they can just go ahead and purchase it. Whereas if they plan to make a bulk order with us, then maybe they want to request a custom pricing. Okay, so in that case, they can go ahead and enter in the quantity that they're interested in. So for example, we can say we want 500 units of this particular product, but instead of adding it to our basket, we can just select request the price here. And then we can go ahead and view the quote. And then here we can fill in the information information so the admin can customize this form so if you need additional information from the customer then you can go ahead and build it out accordingly okay but the customer can go ahead and fill in the information and then submit it the admin will get a notification informing them there's a new quote that requires their attention so I'll quickly show you Okay, so the admin will go ahead and review the quote. So this is the one which I've just submitted, right? Then they can add an expiry date. And then here's the current price. And then here we can actually add our custom price in, okay? So we can say 345, for example. We can even add a custom shipping fee. And then we can add a note as well. And then send this to the customer. And then the customer will have the option to either accept or reject um, this particular proposal. And they can leave a note as well. So you can go back and forth, kind of, okay? So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP request the quote plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. With that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the AOV up request the quote plugin, the next step is just to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Okay, and we just want to make sure we enable this option here where it says request the quote. And then we can enable our request the quotation system. So customers can negotiate on a pricing when ordering in bulk. So let's click manage. Okay, and we'll go ahead and create a rule. This step is up to you, right? So we can create this request the quote option um, for guest users, meaning for customers that's logged out of your site, or you might only want to display it to existing customers, right? So that's customers with an existing account. So depending on the use case, you'll either create two separate rules, one for guest users, one for registered users, or just one single rule, which is for registered users only, okay? So since I'm logged in as admin, the concept's exactly the same for guest users as well. I'm going to show this particular request a quote button to only admin users, okay? Obviously, in your case, you'll set it to customers or wholesalers, whichever makes sense in your case. So for the rule priority, we'll set this to one. And now we need to choose the user role. So again, I'll select admin. We can select multiple user role as well. So for example, we can display this to um, admin users and wholesale users. And maybe you want to display this to products which are currently out of stock or on back order or even in stock. In this case, I'm just going to show it for all product status. Okay. And then finally, we get to choose um, which product we want this to apply to. So we can choose the individual products or we can choose um, products within a particular category or we can just select all products here, which is what I'll do. Um, do we want to hide the pricing? We're going to select no. In this case, you can hide it if you want. It's up to you. And then for the hide add to cart button here, I'm actually going to replace. No, I'm going to keep the add to cart button and add a quote button okay and then for the button label we're going to say request price okay and this is pretty much it so we'll hit publish oh, so we should give this a name as well it's just for internal purposes so we'll just say okay we'll update this again just to save the role title Okay, so now when we view our shop page, we should see the add to cart button and the request the quote button. Okay, like what we're doing here. Okay, so let's assume the customer's on the product page. And let's say instead of buying one quantity, they might want to buy 200, right? So in this case, instead of paying full price for it, they might want to negotiate for a better deal, okay? So in that case, they'll just go ahead and add um, the 200 quantities and then select request the quote here. This will be added to their quote basket. Okay, and we can customize this form as well. So they'll fill in the form. Okay, and then send it off to admin. You will receive a message and you'll be able to review it. Okay, so let's just have a look at the process in the back end. So we'll go to submitted quotes. So as I said, you will get an email as well um, informing you there's a new quote. Okay, so here we've got the customer's information and we can actually send them a quote with an expiry date as well. Just to encourage them to make a decision. 
right so here we can review the details we can see um, the current price is this and then maybe we can say the best price we can do is forty dollars for example okay for the 200 we can add a custom shipping charge we can say 150 and um, for this and then we can also add a note okay so we can say something like okay so usually there's an option that you need to tick to send an email to the customer regarding this particular quote since i've just requested this custom pricing with my existing admin account there isn't that option but in your case there will be that option okay so then all we'd have to do is just click update i think we can still go along even though i'm logged in as admin we need to tweak the automatic emails that will go out to the customers, but we'll get to that in a second. I just want to show you the flow and then we'll go on to tweaking the emails. All right. So as I said, since I'm already logged in, so this is the flow for a um, logged in user. Um, I can just head over to my account area. And if we go to quotes here, we can see the quote that I've just um, sent. We can review the quote. Okay, we can see we wanted this particular product. We wanted 200 units and here's the price and the custom shipping that the admin sent. Okay, and here we can see the custom note. So then the customer has two options. They can either approve it and if they approve it, they'll be prompted to kind of make a payment or they can reject it. And then the admin will be notified that they've rejected it. And then in that case, you can actually make them another quote or just leave it. So here we can actually add a message regardless which option we choose. Okay, so we can add a message here and then approve it or reject it. Okay, and the admin will be able to see that message as well. All right, so that's the basic flow. Again, it's similar as well for um, customers without an account so they'll get an email with your custom pricing and if you've added a note as well they'll get a special link in which they can visit and um, respond to that message all right so let's actually go ahead and tweak the custom emails so let's head over to our dashboard all right and then we'll navigate over to request a quote let's go to settings and okay so here we actually need to enter in the admin's email or the shop manager email essentially whoever will be managing these um, quotes as they come in okay so we'll go to email notification and in here we've got these custom emails um, for the admin so whenever a customer has requested a price for a particular product or products then this is the email that will be sent to admin when it's been proposed the admin will get this email so again you can enable or disable any of these emails okay from going out and it's the same concept as well for the customer so whenever there's so whenever their quote is awaiting review then we can send this email here when the admins actually sent the quote out we can add this custom messaging to the quote as well same for when it's been approved maybe we can give them some further instructions maybe just reminding them that they need to actually pay for the order or if it's been rejected we can send another email as well right we've got more in-depth videos regarding this particular plugin if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave in a comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.